<laughs> it looked alright. <laughs> it looked okay. We're at Oscars and we're going to be working on the vet today. Um, I looked it up and it said that I was able to somehow modify it a little bit to be able to put in a normal double din radio in. And uh, if you take a look at this one, this is the factory one and it is super, super dated and it doesn't work quite a hundred percent. It, this is like just like a usual kind of like GM one. It looks like real shitty in 90s and that's pretty much exactly what it is. So today we're going to be replacing this with that one. That's like a super cheap $30 one. Uh, looks real clean and so I think we're going to be happy with that. Um, I don't know how it's going to fit in here. I think we might have to do some trimming and all that. But uh, hopefully uh, it works out and we're probably going to have to go to the store and get some supplies as well. I don't know all what, what Oscar has but we're going to figure it out and we're going to make it work. That backup camera over there? Looks clean. Uh, yeah, actually. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> This tight. tight. Oh, it holds itself in place. Wow. Well, we'll make some like brackets or something with uh. So what? We'll bracket. Do, no, no. So what we'll do is we'll make brackets that are black, so that way it covers in the empty space over here. So that'll work out. But we may have to um clear into a little bit on the top here, because I mean, like, if it can be like that, like that's pretty clean. My dad came in here and asked me whose car it was. I said it's mine. I bought it for five hundred bucks. He's like, what? How'd you get it for 500? I was like, look at it. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> uh. All right, you want to explain what we did really quick? Yeah, we went to Fry's and uh, we got what was the supposed bracket, but this is actually for a later year. And uh, not only is it not going to fit what this car, but it also doesn't seem to fit this radio. It said double din, which is, you know, what this thing is. But like, it's all just kind of like not working out very well like i guess that's fine so you could try oh that's no, not it's, bad it's actually it's it's okay i'd like to because there's like screw holes in here i don't know if it wants to be this way or this way i guess i'll see first this isn't gonna fit for shit in here oh fuck should just uh trusted your gut you don't want it at all. All right, I'm not worried about it. We'll put something in there later on. But right now, I would like to get this all set up. Um, can you get me something to cut these wires and you know to be able to um, strip them? And not cut wires. Fucking scissors and all. What a while to say the least. Is the battery disconnected? No. So Tyler has to run to Ace because I don't have crimpers because I usually don't do wiring stuff. Um, but while he's gone, I know he's not gonna leave this in there. But you know, <laughs> subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. Guys. I do. I randomly upload. You know, I, I got a video with 57,000 views, so that, that's pretty cool. You know, let's let's get this to like 5,000. Yeah. No, no wiring. No wiring. But like I said, Lindsay has it. <laughs>
Previously, you saw that we were working on the radio and we were having some difficulties figuring out which wires were going where. The biggest reason for me was we were trying to figure out uh, what was the constant power and then the accessory power whenever the key is turned on. Uh, I went back and did some research and it was, uh, the, the issue was that uh, there is no accessory power that actually comes to the radio or something like that. So what I did is I actually hooked it up to the power wire that I ran for the high speed fan switch that I have here. So I just spliced into that and we're gonna use that. I already used it. Uh, the radio actually turns on. It only turns on whenever it's actually on on, not accessory. So it's not exactly how it's supposed to be, but it does uh, work and everything. So uh, pretty much everything is hooked up in the back of here. Um, we got a few more wires that I'd like to see if we can hook up uh, just some like kind of BS wires like dimming and stuff like that So whenever I dim all the lights it dims the screen on the radio as well uh, But we have a couple other things I'm gonna tidy up and then we're gonna try and fit this thing in there and uh, Maybe try and get some trim panels uh, wherever this thing is um, You can see this is my high-speed fan switch here and we bought this thing. It's not for the right year but uh, we're gonna try and use maybe this thing and just try and use the sides, cut it up a little bit and make it kind of look clean inside there because uh, there is extra room on the sides. Look at that. It's like we know what we're doing almost. Yeah, look at that. Fills the gap. And then, the uh, reason I kind of ground down the top of this a little bit is just to give us a little bit more clearance for these things that go inside there. And, uh, Hopefully, it'll give us enough clearance to be able to shove that thing in there. That might be it. I don't think I'm gonna mess with it. I think that's fine. Yeah, try it. Try to put this on. No, it's just because at first I was gonna make brackets. I was concerned that when I push down here, it's going to go in more, and it's fine. It'll run a little bit, but for the most part, it's good. Well, that is one mini project down uh, of many to basically make the Corvette, uh, or the Horvette, I should say, uh, great again. But anyways, it looks super clean. We bumped it out a little bit, so it is a little bit more flush in here. As you saw, we used uh, some pieces that aren't really supposed to go there, but it makes it look nice and clean. And there's not a gap inside there. And uh, I think it makes the whole thing look a lot more modern. Uh, this thing was lacking a uh, more modern radio for a long time, even though this isn't a huge upgrade. Uh, it is for me, especially since um, I was having an issue where basically there were no lows. I don't know uh, what was happening uh, with the uh, previous radio. I don't know what went wrong with it. Maybe I wasn't giving any power to the to the factory Bose. Uh, uh, I don't know, something. I don't know, either way, something was messed up so it wasn't getting any of the lows. There's all just like high-pitched uh, stuff coming out of there and so it was basically unbearable. And now, as you heard, I uh, at least got a little sample of it because I don't want to get copyrighted on the song. Um, but it works perfectly good. The only thing that sucks is Whenever I changed out the uh, speakers on the Red Vet, I basically have super shitty three and a half inches in the front of this because I swapped them out with the ones that were in the Red Vet. So I have the 
pretty decent factory ones in the red vet and obviously I got rid of that and I should have swapped them out beforehand uh, but I didn't and so now basically I have really crappy front speakers in this thing but uh, otherwise the speakers in this car factory are actually pretty decent I'd say um, but now I can actually listen to the radio on the way you know whatever I'm doing whether it be uh, you know to a road trip or whatever because we have taken this to Ohio a couple of times uh, and then also now this thing has Bluetooth and all the modern amenities and it's pretty cheap too so if you want to check it out uh, it's like one of the cheapest double din radios you can possibly get that looks like clean without a bunch of gaudy stuff all over it uh, I'm gonna link it in the description if you're interested check it out and uh, you know I recommend it I haven't had any issues with it yet uh, except for just hooking it up but that's purely been because of uh, this year vet and the way that the wiring harness was set up I wasn't able to get the diagrams a uh, hundred percent correct uh, right away but as soon as I was to look everything up it was good but obviously if you're able to get a wiring harness from the factory radio to the aftermarket radio it's gonna make everything super easy um, but yeah uh, got that thing installed and I think it looks super clean inside there definitely makes it a lot more modern well that's pretty much it for today's video uh, pretty much if you're interested in that radio it's just about as cheap as they possibly get for a double din uh, I did the job for me and I'm sure it will for a couple of you guys out there anyways hope you enjoyed today's video peace out